Welcome to Today in Nerd History. Remembering the day the music died, February 3rd, 1959. On that day, American rock and roll musicians Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper, J.P. Richardson, were killed in a plane crash near Clear Lake, Iowa, together with pilot Roger Peterson. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Deja Q, aired on February 3, 1990. In this episode, Q is seeking asylum on the Enterprise after he's been thrown out of the continuum and stripped of his powers. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, For the Uniform, aired February 3, 1997. In this episode, after being humiliated in his quest to capture his traitorous former security chief, Michael Eddington, Sisko realizes he must himself think like a rogue. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, The Emperor's New Cloak, aired February 3rd, 1999. In this episode, Quark and Rom steal a Klingon cloaking device in order to save the Ferengi leader from the evil alliance. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Gravity, aired February 3rd, 1999. In this episode, stuck on a planet within a spatial sinkhole, Tom pressures Tuvok to take an alien woman who fancies him for his own. Remembering Jeremy Kemp, born February 3rd, 1935, and passed away July 19, 2019. Edmund Jeremy James Walker, known professionally as Jeremy Kemp, was an English actor. He was known for his significant roles in the miniseries The Winds of War and War and Remembrance, also the movie The Blue Max and the TV series Z Cars. His other television credits include Colditz, Space 1999, Heart to Heart, The Greatest American Hero, The Fall Guy, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Conan the Adventurer, and Murder, She Wrote. He played King Leonetz in the BBC television production of The Winter's Tale, and he also played Cornwall, in the 1983 TV movie version of King Lear, opposite Laurence Olivier as Lear. From the mid-1960s to the 1970s, he had a prominent movie career, usually appearing as second male leads or top supporting roles. His movies included Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, Operation Crossbow, Darling Lily, A Bridge Too Far, The 7% Solution, Top Secret, and Four Weddings and a Funeral. He played Robert Picard in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Family. Happy Birthday, Bob Greasy, born February 3rd, 1945. Robert Allen Greasy is a former American football quarterback who earned All-American honors with the Purdue Boilermakers before being drafted in 1967 by the American Football League's Miami Dolphins. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy birthday, Blythe Danner, born February 3rd, 1943. Blythe Catherine Danner is an American actress who is known for playing Will Truman's mother, Marilyn, 
in the sitcom Will and Grace, and for her role in the 2000 comedy hit Meet the Parents, and its sequels Meet the Fockers and Little Fockers. She is the mother of actress Gwyneth Paltrow and director Jake Paltrow. In 1972, she played Martha Jefferson opposite Ken Howard's Thomas Jefferson in the movie 1776. That same year, she was in the Columbo episode Etude in Black. Her earliest starring film role was opposite Alan Alda in To Kill a Clown. She was in the episode of M.A.S.H. entitled The More I See You. She played lawyer Amanda Bonner in TV's Adam's Rib and Zelda Fitzgerald in F. Scott Fitzgerald and The Last of the Bells. She was in the movies Loving Molly, Future World, which is a good movie for its time, Inside the Third Reich, Brighton Beach Memoirs, The Great Santini, The Prince of Tides, Saint Maybe, Back When We Were Grown Ups, and The X-Files Fight the Future. From 2004 to 2006, she starred in the TV series Huff. <laughs> Remembering John Fiedler, born February 3rd, 1925, and passed away June 25th, 2005. John Donald Fiedler was the shrill-voiced, bald character actor who played Mr. Heinst in the Star Trek episode Wolf in the Fold. He is perhaps best remembered for his later role as Mr. Peterson on The Bob Newhart Show and especially for giving voice to the beloved character of Piglet in Disney's animated Winnie the Pooh films and TV programs. He appeared three times in a reoccurring role on Kolchak the Night Stalker as morgue attendant Gordy the Ghoul Spangler. He also played Mr. Dundee in an episode of The Twilight Zone called The Night of the Meek in 1960. His many other guest appearances on TV include Columbo, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Perry Mason, Bonanza, Gunsmoke, My Favorite Martian, Bewitched, Get Smart, A Touch of Grace, The Rockford Files, Quincy M.E., The Golden Girls, Banachek, Cheers, and The Monsters. Happy birthday, Fran Tarkington, born February 3, 1940. Francis Osbury Tarkington is a former American football quarterback who played in the National Football League for 18 seasons, primarily with the Minnesota Vikings. He played college football for the University of Georgia and was selected by the Vikings in the third round of the 1961 NFL Draft. After retiring from football, he became a TV personality and a computer software executive. His time with the Vikings spanned 13 non-consecutive seasons, playing with the team for six seasons from 1961 to 1966, then for seven seasons from 1972 to 1978. In between his years in Minnesota, he was a member of the New York Giants for five seasons. At the time of his retirement, he owned every major quarterback record. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1986 and the College Football Hall of Fame in 1987. In addition to his football career, he served as a commentator on Monday Night Football and a co-host of That's Incredible! which was a really fun show for its time. He also founded Tarkington Software, a computer program generator company, and he toured the U.S. promoting CASE, Computer Aided Software Engineering, with Albert F. Case, Jr. of NASDAQ Corporation. Tarkington Software later merged with Knowledgeware with Tarkington 
as president until selling the company to Sterling Software in 1994. Happy birthday, Stephen McCaddy, born February 3, 1947. He is perhaps best known for playing the title role in the 1976 made-for-TV movie James Dean and of Gabriel during the final season of Beauty and the Beast. He later guest starred on an episode of The Magnificent Seven and he played Romulan Senator Vrenak in the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode In the Pale Moonlight. His memorable delivery of Vrenak's line, It's a fake! has become a popular Star Trek quotation. He later played the alien foreman in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, The Zindi. Remembering Victor Buono, born February 3, 1938, and passed away January 1, 1982. Victor Charles Buono was an American actor, comic, and briefly a recording artist. He was known for playing the villain King Tut on the TV series Batman and musician Edwin Flagg in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, the latter of which earned him Academy Award and Golden Globe Award nominations. Happy Birthday Warwick Davis, born February 3, 1970. Warwick Ashley Davis is an English actor and TV presenter. He played the title characters in Willow and the Leprechaun film series. He played the Ewok Wicket in Return of the Jedi and Professor Phileas Flitwick and Griphook in the Harry Potter films. He has also starred as a fictionalized version of himself in the sitcom Life's Too Short. And he also played Porridge in the Doctor Who episode Nightmare in Silver. Remembering Trisha Noble, born February 3rd, 1944, and passed away January 23rd, 2021. Patricia Ann Ruth Noble was an Australian singer and actress. Initially performing as Patsy Ann Noble, she was a teenage pop singer in the early 1960s with regular appearances on Bandstand. In 1965, she started her TV acting career, and by 1967 she was using Trisha Noble as her stage name. By the 1970s, she had relocated to the United States and had guest stars roles in various TV series including Columbo Playback, Beretta, Macmillan and Wife, and Buck Rogers in the 25th Century. In 1983, she returned to Australia, where she also pursued a career as a theatrical actress. In 2005, she had a minor role in the Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith as Joba Naberi, mother of the lead character Padme Amidala. <music> Remembering Stephen Mines, born February 3, 1939 and passed away May 21, 2019. He was in the 1961 episodes of Bronco, Pete and Gladys, and 87th Precinct, as well as the movie Pirates of Tortuga. He served in the U.S. Army between 1962 and 1964. He was in the 1962 movie Mr. Hobbs Takes a Vacation and a 1964 episode of The Lieutenant, and in 1965 he was in episodes of Paradise Bay, Mr. Novak, and Gidget. He played Lieutenant Robert Tomlinson in the Star Trek episode Balance of Terror and was on Big Valley and the soap opera As the World Turns. A brief role on Dan August 
is his last known guest appearance on any TV series. Happy birthday, Time Winters. Born February 3rd, 1956. Timothy G. Winters played Glenn Darrow in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode, The Wounded. He has also been on Cheers, MacGyver, Picket Fences, The John Larroquette Show, Murder, She Wrote, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, ER, Full House, and Murder in the First. In Babylon 5, he played Rathen in the episodes Gray 17 is Missing and War Without End, Part 1. He made his film debut in 1990's Gremlins 2, The New Batch. He was also in 1991's L.A. Story. Happy Birthday, Matt Winston. Born February 3rd, 1970. He played Temporal Agent Daniels on eight episodes of Star Trek Enterprise, beginning with the first season's episode, Cold Front. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.